Hi, my name is uh, Mr. Al Aremi and I'm a scientist. Uh, we are going to do an experiment to prove that carbon dioxide is actually given off in the chemical decomposition of calcium carbonate. Okay, so first of all, um, I've got my limestone here, tong, heat proof mats, bunsen burn on the safety flame, and scales, and that's all I need. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to weigh this. And it shows that we've got 49.29 grams at the start. Okay, and so now we're actually going to do seat under the safety, under the royal flame, just at the, at the top of that cone. Part of the what's actually happening on the outside is you're getting this white deposit. You're getting this white deposit and that is calcium oxide. And what we should be um, what should be given off is the gas carbon dioxide. Not the most exciting experiment in the world. It won't win me a Nobel Prize. No. Okay, so we're going to try this again now. And now it's actually 49.26. So it's gone down. Okay, so we're checking the mass difference now. Okay, so what exactly, what you actually have here is that uh, this is the equation for chemical decomposition. So you've got calcium carbonate breaking down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. And we can actually say how much has actually reacted. Um, how much of this has actually reacted. Okay, so the relative atomic mass of calcium carbonate is actually 100. And we can work that out because calcium is 40 and carbon is 12 and oxygen is 16. Because there are three of them, you have to multiply that by three. And that gives us 100. Okay, and calcium oxide, it will be 40 plus 16, which is 56. And carbon dioxide there, which is 44. Um, 56 plus 44 equals 100. So 56 plus 44 gives us 100. And um, so that proves that whatever was there in the first place will be there at the end. So, the moment now we're going to actually do the calculation. And we've actually got the formula there. It's calcium carbonate, uh, which decomposes into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. And so here you've got the, uh, we've actually calculated the relative molecular mass. And um, so this 44 here is actually that mass lost, which isn't really lost, but it's the carbon dioxide which has escaped in the sphere as gas. Um, and so what we're going to do here, so we're actually going to calculate how much of this calcium oxide, calcium carbonate, is actually reacted. Okay, so using that, we have to get this 44 to 0.03. And the way we do that is 44 divided by 44 multiplied by 0.03. Okay? 
and whatever we do there, we have to do it to the rest. So this will be 56 divided by 44 multiplied by 0.03, and we should do the same with this one. Okay, so uh, we've got each of these masses here, and we've actually divided it um, by 44 multiplied it by 0.03. Uh, whatever we did to that one, we must do to these as well. And the actual answers that we actually get would be naught, roughly 0.07, breaking down into 0.04. Scrams and 0.03 grams. Okay, and so that 0.03 grams is the mass of the carbon dioxide, which is not really lost. And this here proves conservation of mass. And I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, man.